I'm Hannah, and I'm a cotton-picking ridge runner, stump jumper, and damn proud of it. I raise chickens, ducks, geese, turkeys, goats, and sheep. All right, I'm coming now. Yeah, I hear you. LaWanda, I'll slap you, you don't listen. Down, dead gone you. It's almost four and a half acres, and so I guess you wouldn't count it a little farm. I don't throw away anything that I can use later. I don't call it a hoarder. I call it keeping what you need to buy gosh and when you don't have money to go buy it later. I'm Linda and I'm Hannah's daughter. Mom's been living in the single wide for about two years now with chickens. Mom's got about 50 head of baby chickens and half grown chickens in the tubs. That's what was happening last night. They were fighting. You see that? Wound up killing you. Damn. She's got chick manure all over it, garbage all over it. It is bad. Really bad. Mom does not have heat in the single wide. She doesn't have anything to cook on but a hot plate. Mom can't even get to her kitchen sink. It's important to me to get out of that old raggedy aggedy trailer and back into my house where I don't freeze my behiggies off all winter long. <laughs> my name is Becky and I'm Hannah's oldest daughter. I get so pissed at my mother, the way she's living and letting these animals live. Animals are suffering, but I can't sit there and tell mom that they're suffering. Because if I tell her that, then she's gonna get mad at me and tell me, no, they're not suffering. The animals are being more than tortured. They're not having a life. These animals are in prison. They're all in the okay shape as far as I know. If there's any of them, there's something wrong with them, it's more than I know about. She treats those animals the way she treated us kids, and I can't stand that. There was many times that the cops were called. I was 16 years old when the state of Illinois removed us. I only tolerate her because she is my mother. I don't have to punish her. God will. I had 16 kids and 10 of them are still living. If they don't want to have nothing to do with me, fine. If they do, fine. I was living before they was born and I'll live till I die. Who in the hell ever heard of hoarding an animal? You can't hoard an animal. An animal will go where they damn well please. I don't understand why she just doesn't say, okay, I give up on the animals. I'm gonna get rid of those. I give up on collecting things and live a better life. I don't understand that. The way she lives, I can't be around her. I can't see mom to live like this anymore. Something has to be done. My name is Dr. Robin Zazio. I am a licensed clinical psychologist and I specialize in OCD and compulsive hoarding. Right now, I ain't happy to see nobody.
It's quite clear that Hannah is an angry woman and she wasn't even interested in walking me around and showing me the things that were troubling her and where she was needing help. Do you wanna enter in here where my mom lives? I do, I do. Okay. Be careful because you'll step, you'll fall through the floor there. Okay. When I walked in the trailer, I was almost speechless. The condition was so bad in this trailer. There's chickens all in these containers. The air quality was overwhelming. That's manure? That's it, manure. It's up this high. Yes, that's manure. It's all in this house. Nothing works in this place. I mean, this isn't fit for anything to live in. No. They're too young. Hannah's denial allows her to live in there and say that everything's fine. No one is going to make it through the winter in here. There's and no way. I told way. her that. I told her that. She says, well, I'll just have to put an electric heater in here. And it's going to go up in flames. Exactly. That's what I told her. Hannah's children were taken away from her and they've been gone for several years now, and so they're watching her deterioration from afar. I know that the impact has been very, very hard on them. This is not healthy. This is disgusting, gross. I can't see my mom living like this. It's gotta be hard. <laughs> the prognosis for Hannah is very poor. She lacks any insight into the problem of her hoarding, of the abuse and the neglect, and her current health conditions. She has all these health issues, heart, oh, lung, know. back. Yeah. She can't walk, and look, she, she complains about walking in here. Well, she complains about her health, but she completely defends that this is a completely safe environment. Yes. I don't know what's gonna happen to Hannah. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. We have got a lot of work to do today. My name is Matt Paxton. I'm an extreme cleaning specialist. If we don't know already, Hannah is in charge, OK? <laughs> and nothing gets mm. thrown into the dump trucks unless I tell them to. Loud and clear. This is our animal safety team. Well, I imagine I've worked with livestock for four years was ever born. Hannah is very comfortable with who she is. I think she's been a fighter all of her life. We are not gonna change Hannah. We're not gonna change who she is. We're here to help the animals. and We're here to get Hannah a safe place to live. All right, you got everybody ready to go? Ready. All right, let's do it. Okay. We can make some space over here for things she wants to keep out of the house. That is all pieces. I need to get more space for these goats. And this is a great this opportunity. Is a, it's enough space for them for now. I'll get the rest of it done to myself later on. We got a bunch of guys with a bunch of trucks that are free. That's why I want to There ain't this nothing food. going out of here. I'm telling you, half of this is trash. I don't care what you're telling me. I'm telling you. I own it. You don't. I, correct. She's a rattlesnake. She just lets you know that you're bugging her. She makes a lot of noise and tries to get you to go away. I'd like to get it's this out of here. It's going to stay right where it is. Okay, so we want to get, we, the goal was to give your goats more space. You're saying this is not the way to do it. Right? No, that stuff stays there. What about we'll if we it. just reshuffled it to here No, here here? I said it stays there. How many times do I have to tell you that? It's difficult to do a hoarding cleanup when the hoarder doesn't want to touch anything. Mom. I'll get it, y'all. Um, There are animals on this property that are suffering, and we can't allow them to continue to suffer like that. Well, I'll tell you one thing. When you start out messing with it, I'll sue every damn one of you. You know, Hannah, that's Now, by right. God, there's no damn sense of you getting out here, sticking your damn nose in my business. It's none of your business. But well, we were called here, and we were called here for a reason, Hannah, and that was to make your life better, right? Yes, and taking my animals, yours, okay. they all won't make it okay, better. Okay, but it also 
we need to make the animal's life better as well. I have been battling this damn bull for years. Somebody else got their damn nose stuck where they got no business. No, don't stop with me. Don't stop with me. No, you guys were supposed to come up here and help her. We are not. I'm not supposed to get on the house. Well, I'm at work. Calm down. And she's upset. Calm down. You know she's got a heart. No. Calm down. My mother is nobody's going to start with her. Who started with her? Calm down. One of the grandchildren was apparently calling Hannah's daughter and saying things that weren't even happening. I get phone calls while I'm at work. Okay, calm down. Calm down. Who's calling? I don't know who you are. Everybody's calling me here. I'm not going to deal with my mother getting upset and She's having a heart attack. She's, She's fine. fine. No, that ain't what I got. No. No. Time out. Give a what you say. Time out. Bart. Hey, Bart, Bart please go that way. Okay. She's right here. We're going to do something. No Robin and I were able to stop her, but she still ended up getting in a fight with her brother. Everything is going fine until her Bart, Shut your mouth, Bart. Get over here. Hey, Bart, come on, Bart. Don't do it, Bart. Hey, 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 this family is probably the largest family I've ever seen, and it is by far the most dysfunctional family I have ever seen. We did get Hannah to agree to let some of the goats go, some of the ducks go, the rabbit, and a really, really sick turkey. Before we leave today, we will make sure that all the animals have food, that they have adequate water, that they are in the best condition and the cleanest cages that we can get for them and then we will be contacting the state officials on, on Monday morning at 8 o'clock. It's trash. Trash? This family decided that they were going to do whatever it takes to get this house safe for their mom, and they've done that. But the reality is this house will be full very quickly. If you let it get this far, man, it's a real hard thing to change. A really hard thing to change. Got it. Here, come. We have offered aftercare services for Hannah. She does not think that she has a compulsive hoarding problem. She does not by any means see anything wrong with the treatment of these animals, and she's refusing all help at this point. Hannah's prognosis is extremely poor probably the worst of any hoarder I've ever worked with. Hi, thanks for being a fan of hoarders. And subscribe to a &E for more videos and click the links around me to watch more.